Last week, this channel hit 1 million views, which is something that I never even imagined would happen when I started it a couple years ago. I can't help but reflect on the first million views and think about the next million views. So here's my big ask from you today. Do me a huge favor and drop me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see in the next million views. If you go back to some of the very first videos on this channel, you'll see that they're all about this Sprinter 4x4 van that we had purchased and built out with the help of van speed and kind of some of the pros and cons and things I would have done differently during that build and that whole process. And then somewhere along the way, we started talking about bikes. I don't remember if it was before or after the Crux, but I feel like buying the Crux was kind of the catalyst that really got the channel going. At that point, the channel became very cycling focused, which was never part of the original plan, but I'm really glad that it did. We started to talk about different bikes. We had the Cervelo Aspero, the Open Upper, the Crux in all of its different iterations. We had the Athos and then the Tarmac and then back to the Athos and then ultimately the Tarmac won out. And now we had the Melee and the Mog and we've just had a handful of bikes roll through here that I've really, really enjoyed. In the next couple of videos, I'm gonna talk about my Crux setup for 2023. And I probably said somewhere that I wasn't gonna do another Crux video, but I just love this bike. And I continue to tweak and change it, looking for those little marginal improvements and marginal gains. So the new change that I've done is I've swapped out the NV45s for a set of reserve 4044s with DT Swiss 180 hubs. And I've also swapped out the S-Works Pathfinder tires for a set of the Continental Terra Speeds in 40 millimeter. And this might be my favorite setup by far. So we're gonna talk about that in the next week or so here. I've also got some products from Ceramic Speed that I've been testing, and I'm really excited to talk about those. After that, we're getting into April, which brings Sea Otter, the Whiskey Tango Fondo Gravel event, and hopefully some better weather, because if you're in Southern California, it just feels like it's the Pacific Northwest and has for the last three months. So I'm about ready for some sunshine and normal riding. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Thanks for helping me get to that 1 million view mark. I'm not going anywhere. This forklift behind me, it ain't going anywhere, but maybe we'll have some new backgrounds on the horizon. Anyways, until next time.